Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Mark Burgess here, Big East Bass Fishing. Today I thought I'd bring you a video regarding pro anglers versus social media anglers. Okay? So, for the longest time, well, since I guess social media, um, you had pro anglers um, at you know various levels of the sport. You know, grassroots guys, nation guys, open guys, you know, um, whatever the whatever that, you know, triple A level is and other circuits and stuff like that. Then you had the top level, FLW Tour, Bassmaster Elite, MLF, whatever case is. Guys fishing professional tournaments. Okay, or as a pro, as a boater, um, you know, in the front of the boat, promoting product for their sponsors okay and you know like my experience um that the promotion of excuse me myself and the sport was done through um you know logo jersey placement then we get into wrap boats wrap trucks um you know, I had a fantastic outdoor writer program. I had the, just the best in the business that wrote for every major publication, website, you know, Bassmaster, um, you know, half a dozen um, guys that, uh, you know, to, like Dara Black to mention one, um, you know, and that's how we got the message out, okay? And we were fortunate to get in Bassmaster Magazine, you know, um, make the television show, uh, make get on get on the news um, be articles I mean I'm an author I've been published you know myself in, in several publications um, that's how you did it you know you you basically you covered you know the whole marketing wagon wheel if you will I mean there was a little bit of TV in there but there was radio the website um, you know uh, paper you know magazine newspaper articles there was you know in person um, you know, one on one, there was in person, you know, to small groups, there was in person at sports shows, you know, where you do um, product demonstrations and seminars on the tank in the classroom. And that's how you got the message out. Okay. You know, dating myself big time here, you know, there wasn't any real social media as we know it. Okay. So once social media came along, and um, you know, it's, it's everything now. Okay, so you have guys that, you know, like Ben uh, McMilken. Um, uh, Milliken is, I guess, a better way to pronounce his name. Um, you know, just to name one guy. And there's, there's, there's a lot of guys who are social media anglers, okay, just to put that label, if you will, um, that have tremendous amount of uh, exposure and followers okay and impressions and that's that's their niche okay so they through social media that's their that's their channel okay not necessarily running around with a wrap truck wrap boat they're not fishing professional level tournaments they're not being seen crossing the stage they're not live on the internet they didn't make the Sunday you know cut and and, and the TV show because they're not there to begin with um, you know, they're not in newspaper articles, you know, magazine articles. They're not working with outdoor writers. Um, you know, they're not doing seminars at sports shows or anything like that. Their outlet, there is social media, okay? And that's what we've kind of all graduated to. So you had, you know, your pro angler and all the things that they did to, to um, get impressions, generate impressions and exposure for themselves and their own brand and their sponsors, their business partners. And then you had your, you know, internet stars, okay? Um, <clears throat> YouTube anglers, all right? Now, the pro angler, you know, and there's, you know, Brandon Polinick, uh, just to name one, Gerald Swindle, name another one. I mean, it, and they're all pretty, pretty good. Okay. Iconelli, 
you know, those those guys are probably at the top of that list. But now pro anglers have to be online as well. They have to be, you know, the the YouTube content creator, you know, um, video creators, small TV shows. You know, if you've seen, you know, if you've seen Brandon Polinick and, you know, Swindle, uh, just to name a couple, the entourage, you know, that, that surrounds them. I can Ellie, um, <clears throat> that's, uh, that's pretty much what these guys have to do now. Okay. So they have to be internet anglers now, in addition to all those other things, which have taken a slight back seat. But you'll still see those pro anglers promoting themselves, their brand, their business, their business partners through those other channels. But primarily, it's internet, okay? Um, and now you have guys like Ben McMilken, who, you know, he he was always known a very extremely successful internet fisherman, okay? Very entertaining, uh, a ton of followers and has a great product so you saw him fish as an eq angler fished all nine opens and qualified for the Bassmaster elite series probably one of the hardest thing if the not hardest thing to do in professional fishing at this time so that it's that's where it's kind of transitioned Pro angler versus, you know, uh, internet angler. That's, it's become the lines. There are no real lines anymore. They've become blurred or blended, you know, where you you best have a strong social media presence and internet presence as a pro angler in addition to all those other things I talked about. Truck wrap, boat wrap, jersey Outdoor Writer Program. Now, granted, you know, the Outdoor Writer Program, you're still working with those guys, okay, those people. But their platform has kind of changed a bit. You you may end up in a little bit of print media and stuff like that. But, you know, you now you're going to be on, you know, website. You're going to be on their uh, social media channels as well, okay? Okay. Um, so it's just changed. The platform's changed a little bit, but you're still doing those things. But the social media aspect of it, the internet part of it, is now a much bigger deal for the pro angler. And now you're seeing, you know, these the internet angler, the social media anglers, now transition over to being an actual pro angler. Okay, so it's it's basically morphed into that. So there, there really is no, you know defined line you, you st obviously you still have guys that are that are pro anglers and they don't have the strongest social media presence and you're you're seeing some results of that with some of these guys um have kind of fallen off as far as the sponsorship thing goes you know so they're, they're going to need to get their you know internet game their social media game you know they're going to need to elevate that to get to basically compete for the business side of things okay so you you can't right now if you have your own brand you know you, you have to be able to do that through social media you have to promote that brand through social media and if you want business partners now that's what they're looking at they're looking at I mean it's always been about impressions I used to keep track of all those impressions um, I had you know uh, all the contacts for the the editors, you know, in those ma in the magazines and the websites, and I would get all that information. I would put it in a report. I had to do quarterly reports, and I would report. Okay, this is how many miles I drove with my wrapped um, dually. Okay, this is in towing my wrapped skeeter boat. That's how many miles I went times X amount of you know um, views per mile. You know, gave me the number of impressions. The, I was on these websites, okay, here's, here's the the data for that, how many clicks they got, how many watch time hours they got. Here's, here's the viewership, or not viewership, but readership for the magazine. Um, 
here's how many people were in the audience when I did, um, you know, um, seminars, things like that. So, you know, it's all, it's all changed. Okay. So now, now they're looking at how many impressions, you know, what, how many views, how many people are following you, you know, that, that kind of thing. What kind of a presence do you have on social media? Um, you know, and you know, it's become a big deal, a big business. I mean, if you if you follow, you know, Polinick or Iconelli, I mean, you you see what they bring to the table. You know, uh, the podcasts. You know, um, just the you know the, the constant content um, puts them right up there. So, yeah, it's a it's a different world, and um, you know, it, it it is what it is. I mean, you this is this is as big a thing as uh, front facing sonar, which you know um, we're we're still talking about. Okay, so things are changing, um, sports evolving, and the way we talk about it, the way we go about it, is changing as well. So um, interesting stuff to talk about for sure. So do me a favor, drop a comment, um, give me your thoughts on on what we what i was just talking about and you know that kind of reminds me i just want to mention something too i'm i'm thinking about doing um podcasts because honestly sitting here talking to you uh into the lens of a camera is is not the same as talking to uh another person or two in the same room or at least you know virtually uh, on a computer screen through like teams or zoom or something like that um, and having it be live and tape and 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 put on you know for for later viewing but um, and be able to take comments live at the time you're talking about it uh, and also calls as well so that's uh, what I'm thinking about doing um, if you got any thoughts on that I'd be glad to hear it all right as always, thanks for tuning in, checking out the channel, and, and viewing it, and liking it, subscribing it. I greatly appreciate it. As we sit here in mid-January, um, hopefully I'm going to see you at some upcoming shows, and uh, then most certainly uh, on the water. All right, so everybody have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.